Rockin' Eight Farm. Rockin' Eight Farm is a family of 10 making it work on their homestead and sharing the fun with YouTube. They share homeschooling videos as well as other uploads with the kids because, you know, there's so many it's hard not to record at least one. <laughs> they give some nice farm tours also. If you already follow Rockin' Eight Farm, you know about Monday shoutouts. But did you also know about the Pied Piper of Fowl Town? They have a roving gang of guineas and chickens that are interesting to observe. And then you can see the tricked out coop also. But if that's not your thing, head over to their garden videos and see what they put in those raised beds and in the ground. Rockin' Eight Farm also takes us to the kitchen quite frequently, and they share some of their trying and true secret recipes with us. She really buttered his bread. <laughs> oh goodness, he says, sweet baby Jesus. Well, Jesus did say some stuff about being bread. Maybe that's what he meant. <laughs> Rockin' 8 Farm has a variety of projects going on all the time, so if you can't find something on their homestead to entertain you, you must not be rocking hard enough. My advice is to use small rocks. They don't hurt that much. SoulFoodQueen.net SoulFoodQueen.net is a YouTube channel that is a part of Sandra's extensive soul food conglomerate. The website that shares the channel name has an exhaustive list of all the wonderful recipes you see on her YouTube channel, and sometimes there are sneak peeks a day or two early. Soul food for Sandra isn't the typical folksy food that we used to eat at Grandma's house. These are scrumptious comfort foods from all over the world. Have you ever wanted to pick up a Southern Living magazine and make every recipe? I think soulfoodqueen.net already has that checked off her bucket list. If you see the same food twice on this YouTube channel, the recipes and the presentations are very different and just as tempting. There are more than recipes on soulfoodqueen.net. We are also shown like snippets of current events and stories from her life. There's even like gardening uploads now and again. But food is the main focus, including food for the soul. There are also food product and wine reviews for menu pairings. If you love using a lot of garden produce in your dishes, soulfoodqueen.net does also. There are even kosher and vegan recipes to suit a plethora of dietary restrictions. From simple sandwiches and side dishes, to restaurant reviews and copycat recipes, to dishes most of us won't eat unless they're baked <laughs> or deep fried and covered in cheese sauce, soulfoodqueen.net has the soul food videos and recipes you've been looking for. Coffee Outdoors David Coffey and his boys are all about exploring the great outdoors and minimizing overpopulation of certain critters in the great outdoors by trapping. Ethically trapping, that is. Ethical trapping benefits animal populations and balances the ecosystem. It's a way of keeping nuisance animals from molesting your livestock and families. It provides fur that's used for all sorts of consumer products and sometimes what you trap is edible. Like Coffee Outdoors' own private line of raccoon jellies and coyote jams. While I won't show some of the critters showing a little skin, I'll tell you that there's a lot about the trapping skill set that is shown on Coffee Outdoors. And then they make the coolest little furry surfboards you have ever seen. They don't just trap for fur. Coffee Outdoors does trap for animal relocations also. But for the most part, they keep the critters they trap like this um, Indiana bobcat. Yeah, um... I'm not from Indiana, <laughs> but, uh, David, that's the most abnormal bobcat specimen I've ever, oh, okay, whew, I was about to say, now I know why you're always wearing sunglasses, <laughs> that's a bobcat, that's definitely a bobcat, so, anyway, we got that straight, <laughs> Coffee Outdoors also traps canines, mink, muskrats, and they've started sharing their crappy fishing techniques with YouTube. <laughs> See what I did there? What do they do with all that fur? 
it goes to a consignment fur auction that's held a few times a year um, in Toronto, I do believe. Did I mention Coffee Outdoors does the occasional shout out? While David's cleaning the traps, why don't you guys head over and check out Coffee Outdoors. Party of 10, rocking the homestead around the clock. Soul stirring food and food for the soul. Outdoor lifestyle featuring fur, fishing, and fashion. I'm going to get some of those shades, David. Are these your people? <laughs> 